Good afternoon, my name is Michael Murphy. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the Housing Authority. To my left is Cheryl Bowden, who is our Vice President of our, our, of our Admissions Department. Um, we're here this afternoon to give a brief overview of A Place to Live, which is located at 38 Lewis Street here in the city. Um, a Place to Live is um, being built as we speak right now. The foundation is in, Cheryl. Um, and um, we're hoping to occupy the building by July 1st of 2023. There are 24 studio apartments at um, 38 Lewis Street. Two are for um, designated for mobility impaired residents. One is um, designated for sensory um, impaired resident and the other are con conventional studio apartments. Uh, the great thing about um, 38 Lewis Street is the amenities that we are offering to the people that are going to be living there. Um, fully, full Wi-Fi, um, fully furnished. Um, we have two meeting rooms, one on the first floor, one on the second floor, as well as laundry facilities on both of those floors as well. Um, they will be, um, <coughs> excuse me, accessible through a, a key card system. They're going to be fully um, security cameraed, um, so we will know, you know, what's going on, you know, so everybody is safe in living there. Um, the Housing Authority is going to be hiring two people. One is going to be a full-time case manager that will work with the population um, on Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, conventional WHA business hours. And the other will be a 24-hour house manager. That person will be our eyes and ears there and will be managing um, the building in order f to make sure that everything is going smoothly in the, uh, dur during the day and during the evening. Um, the array of social services that we'll be offering are boundless. Um, anything from you know getting someone um, into a detox situation, anyone that is going to, you know, needs uh, transportation, anyone who needs to get to medical appointments, it's wraparound services. Um, the population that we're dealing with are um, homeless, chronically homeless, and low-income individuals um, for this, around the city of Worcester. Um, it's specifically designed in order to accommodate people who you know, need that assistance in order for them to come out of a homeless situation. So a place to live is specifically designed to service the homeless, chronically homeless and low income population in the Worcester area. It will also support residents in a manner that is supportive to their efforts at rehousing or rehabilitation. Um, the social service coordinator um, will be the primary contact for the residents that um, are need these services and um, you know we look forward to being able to assist the homeless and the chronically homeless population here in the city. Um, <clears throat> a Place to Live is fun funded by many different organizations. The City of Worcester is a funder, the National Housing Trust Fund, the State Housing Innovation Fund, the Department of Housing Community Development, the Massachusetts Housing and Shelter Alliance, and also with the Worcester Housing Authority. We're very excited about this. This is the first new build that the Housing Authority has done in a number of years, and it is certainly answering the need of, of the community in order to assist the homeless and the chronically homeless in finding stable housing. Before I go on, I'm going to turn this over to Cheryl Bowden, our Vice President of Admissions. Cheryl will walk us through the admissions process um, and how we're going to handle any applicants that come in. Okay. Cheryl? Thank you. People can apply online in person at 630 Plantation Street or by calling or emailing us to request um, that an application be mailed to them. If any assistance is needed with filling out the application, the WHA staff will be more than happy to assist. Once an application is received, it will be date and time stamped as well as added to our place to live wait list. Um, an application, uh, application receipt will be mailed to all applicants informing them that their, their application was received and whether or not it is deemed eligible. The only initial ineligibility for a place to live would be if there's more than one person on the application since these are single occupancy only. The, all applications received between December 1st and February 15th will be eligible for the lottery. The lottery will be held at 630 Plantation Street 
on March 1st at 2 p.m. and it will be open to the public as well as recorded. The first 24 applicants based on the lottery ranking that can prove homelessness and Worcester residency will be selected. If someone cannot prove either of those, they'll be placed back on the wait list as a standard applicant. The 24 applicants that are selected will then be processed through the admissions department to make sure they're fully eligible. Um, once an applicant is either selected from the lottery or within processing, once a unit beco becomes available through a vacancy, the um, Worcester Housing Authority will request documents from the applicant, such as income assets, photo ID, so security card and signed releases. After we receive all of those, documenta all of those documents, um, the WHA will verify their information as well as check information through, third, um, through various third-party sources such as i -Corey, DHCD state wage match, and housing court records. If an applicant is found eligible, a final meeting um, for el eligibility will be done as well as an appointment will be scheduled to go and see the unit. If an applicant is found ineligible, a letter will be sent to that applicant informing them of the denial as well as letting them know of their right to appeal the decision. Um, eligibility requirements are based on state regulation 760 CMR 49 Mass Rental Voucher Program. And please also be advised that there may be requests for updated documents from applicants since at all documentation for income assets in court is only good for 90 days, so after 90 days we'll be we would re require applicants to submit new information, and if they do not do that, they will be removed from the wait list. One, one thing, Cheryl, that um, one of our partners in this application process is the Worcester County Continuum of Care. Once an applicant is um, drawn off of the lottery, we'll be providing the um, Continuum of Care, or the COC as we refer to it, run through the coordinated entry system, will verify their homelessness or their chronically homeless situation, and they will continue with, with our process. Um, this is an exciting thing. Um, the City Manager's Task Force a few years ago um, got together from various um, heads of different agencies and tr tried to come up with ways in order to combat the homeless population and the homeless crisis in the city. Over the past couple of years, this crisis has increased as Rents have gone up, people have become homeless through no fault of their own. Um, and this is, this is a way for the, the community to provide housing assistance to people who may not otherwise be able to get, afford um, a conventional apartment. Again, these are fully furnished, all appliances. Um, people, it, it's, a, um, it's not a program, people can come and go as they please. So without anything um, else to say, which I don't have, this time, I usually have much more to say than this. Um, we're going to open it up to questions. What if they don't have an address? We will work through the um, coordinated entry system in the continuum of care in order to verify where they are. Um, we know a lot of people don't have addresses, um, and you know we will work the best that we can in order to substantiate their address. So, if someone understand. is eligible and wants the building opens in March. How soon do you expect those people who are chosen to move in? Well, construction isn't um, set to be completed until July 1st. Oh, until July, I'm sorry. July. So, you know, pending, um, you know, taking into consideration any construction delays, as long as we have all the updated documentation, they can, they, they'll move in as soon as the building opens. Okay. Anybody else? No? Hearing none? We're going to end this meeting. I thank you all for thank coming. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can certainly go onto our website um, and um, pose your question, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, thank you.